Ladies and gents, who are you going to be summoning for in Genshin Impact 2.6? New update coming in very soon. Obviously, we still have a couple more days. By couple, I mean we have around a week more of the Raiden Shogun banner and of 2.5. Obviously, we've got a few more events going on here, but... Who are you going to be summoning on in the new banners? I wanted to talk about the characters that are going to be coming around into Genshin Impact 2.6. Obviously, we've got the main character of 2.6, which is Kamisato Ayato, who is yet to be, you know, shown incredibly to that extent. Uh, however, we have seen some footage from the live stream event that Genshin Impact have pulled off on Twitch. So that was a pretty good experience. I do personally enjoy watching you know gameplay of those characters and how we could you know potentially use those characters in teams so i really am excited for kamisatayata to come to genshin impact in the near future now we have characters like benti as well as kamisata ayaka that are going to be having a rio now ayaka has a really strong you know potential for being one of the greatest characters in the game obviously and venti is just not quite there unfortunately for venti he is not quite in the meta however he's still a very fun character as you guys can see he is in my overworld you know team i still have him in my overall team he you know finishes things quite fast he has one of the greatest speed run potential out of any character and in the overall, he's pretty fun to use. The only thing stopping you from summoning on his banner is going to be Kaza. Now, Kaza is kind of the venti, quote unquote, and I do not like using this word, power creep, uh, unfortunately. But I still do enjoy venti, as you guys can see. He just groups them up together for you to just finish them off with whatever character you have in your roster. Very fun to play with. I really like venti, and hopefully, he does come back into the meta. So Genshin does something about it to have him back in the meta but for now he is still venti now venti is really nice for the overworld as well where you can use his elemental skill hold and you can pretty much you know fly and whatever it's pretty nice to have i personally really like it and it's really nice for the overworld now as for the spiral abyss venti just lack that little bit of ump that you need for you know from your characters as kaza does fill in the role much better than venti does now we move on to his like kit well is he worth building even now my venti is pretty much maxed out except for his talents as you know i pretty much put everything into his you know elemental burst but you don't really need much to make venti really powerful he's super strong all you need is a bunch of elemental mastery obviously he still doesn't have that much yet you need maybe a stringless on him maybe the full elemental mastery kit it would make him really powerful. Similar how to how you would Kaza or any animal user at this point. You build them for elemental mastery so you can get the most out of the character. Uh, the nice thing about Venti is that his elemental burst does give back a few of the elemental particles that you need. Which is 15 of what it consumes. So if it consumed Pyro, it's going to give you the nice beautiful 15 energy back to that character that has infused the element with which is always nice to have. Now, as for Ayaka, Ayaka is one of those characters that I do not have yet, but I will be summoning on Ayaka once she does come out on her rerun. The reason is because Ayaka is such a fun unit. I do have her on my Asia account and I have the utmost fun with her. She's super fun to build, super fun to play. A lot of people do not enjoy Ayaka's gameplay because of her dash, but I don't see that as a problem. She does get a little nice buff from the dash anyway. I do think she's one of those characters that if you have her, you, you can pretty much be any content in the game. I do highly recommend you guys Get Aika if you do want to be content in the game or if you have any type of struggle beating content. She's definitely one of those characters that will carry you throughout it all. Especially if you have a good team for her. If you have a priest team, if you have a melt team, she's going to be incredible in that as well. Aika has so much damage potential that you're pretty much going to be set for the entirety of Genshin Impact. So that's also a good thing to think about as well. And her build is 
super easy you can have a free sword on her and she's going to be really good anyway i highly suggest you guys get kamisato ayaka and let me know who you are going to be summoning for obviously there is aita who you could be summoning for which is the new character that everyone's going to be talking about in the near future including me as i am going to be summoning on his banner very soon and hopefully he does have that nice impact into the Genshin impact community and i cannot wait for his arrival to the game Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be it from me. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.